Redfield for Smith. And the big rebound by Mackey. Here comes Anderson. Anderson for three. I watched him warm up. I think more than anybody else, Kenny Anderson is the key to the club because he gets the ball to all of the scores for Georgia Tech. Staying his pass inside goes astray. Anderson on the run. Scott for three. Just like that. He'll get it to you if you open. Dennis Scott can shoot shot for shot with anybody in the country. 6-0 Georgia Tech. Anderson with the steal. Look at the dip. That's the ball is something to watch. Johnny McNeil on the scoring end. Timeout on the floor as Georgia Tech has run off eight quick points. Eight to be kept up to date on the progress of this game with scoring reports and highlights. Montgomery rejected by Malcolm Mackey. Here's Anderson. Did a good job coming across the basket to keep Ken Red, Redfield. Mike McCloskey, 6'10", sophomore out of Detroit. Anderson coming right back, throws it up. That will count. Let's take a look at Tech to watch Ball State take on Nevada Las Vegas and West Regional play out in Oakland. And you will be kept up to date on the progress of this game with reports and highlights. It's back. Scott for three. Smith tried to grab the rebound, tried it again, and it got away from him twice. Kenny Anderson. Well, Steve Smith is complaining. Missed every shot, and it make it really difficult on you. Anderson for three. Flat footed. The shot that was flat footed. Or Brian Oliver on track. And the best way to do is get the ball into Kenny Anderson's hand and then just let this beat his man and draw. Here's Scott, top of the key for three. Anderson to the baseline. Oh, is he quick? Oh. Matthew Smith down the baseline. Three pointer doesn't go. Rebounded by Scott. Anderson leads the charge back. He'll put it up. Three pointer is good. 17 for Kenny Anderson. In addition, they brought in Kirk Manns. They got in a little better defensive team with the exception of Manns, who's a outstanding score from the three point area. Anderson with the tough one. 16. Mismatch down low. Manns is on Scott, and now they switch back. Anderson spins away. I mean, like it was nothing. Anderson for McNeil. That, that's where the ball goes. This young man has so much points, and he's not rushing at all. Brown open for the three, nails it. Carl Brown has three points. Nobody thought they could, and Michigan State feels the same way. Anderson with the steal. And Anderson is fouled going to the basket. And a few words passing between sophomore Mark Montgomery and freshman Kenny Anderson. Well, Montgomery and Anderson are getting into it because Anderson is stepping up to the challenge. He stole the ball from him, so he was telling Montgomery, I got you twice. I stole the ball from him. You came down and fouled me. I got you twice. <laughs> I guess they're keeping Anderson from New York, and part of the game is letting the other guy know who's doing what to whom. I guarantee you Michigan State is very aware of the fact that Kenny Anderson is having a superb night. He averages 20 points a game. He now has 23. Half a minute to play. Anderson inside. Off the glass. Got the bucket, and Georgia Tech will call timeout. 25 seconds to play. It's a two-point game. Michigan State on top. Smith pressuring Anderson on the inbound. He comes in a hurry. Down the lane. And a timeout is called. Six seconds to play, and Kenny Anderson was like a dart. A huge performance. Missed it. Here comes Anderson. Two seconds. He had both hands up and called it a three-point. I'm sure I saw official Charlie Ray. She signaled a two. And he is the man over by the...
the scorer's table right now. It is a two-pointer. They're going to call it a two-pointer, and you look like you're going into overtime, but you got to say the momentum looks like it's favoring Georgia Tech. They don't want to waste it down there on the floor. Kenny Anderson hit right here. Steve Smith almost gets a hand on it and knocks it away from him. But somehow he keeps control of it, gets back, and he would prefer to go left. And you'll see clearly his right foot is on the line. The official made the right call. The official Charlie Range at the bottom of your screen from Fremont, California, had the perfect view. Now that's John Clockerty trying to convince Bobby Cremens that the call is correct. And there's no question about what we just saw, Greg. The call is correct. Now it's time. Southeast Regional Semifinals. We have a minute 55 to play in overtime. Michigan State leading by one, and now it's Georgia Tech leading by one. As Kenny Anderson delivers another two points, 31 on the night. Young fella says, get on my back. I'm Redfield oh, he's got a launches look. the three-pointer. 